chasing all the lights And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby I really wanna make you mine Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're just joining us now, welcome, 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 welcome back, welcome to, oh, out of breath. Anyway, for today's video, I'm super excited. It's kind of going to be like a general vlog, but I do focus a lot on food in this video, um, an unboxing of my muscle food plan as well, which I'm going to talk a little bit more about. But yeah, it's just a very kind of general day in the life type of video, but I do focus it a lot around my diet and food because obviously it is something that I recently opened up about and told you that I had been struggling with. And a lot of people said that they'd been feeling the same and could I kind of share a bit more of that side on my YouTube. So I thought would be of interest to show a little bit more of that in a vlog. I do want to obviously quickly say a little disclaimer at the beginning of this video that I do mention calories and I am kind of talking about limiting food, not so much diets, but I am talking about meal plans and meal preps and stuff like that. So if that's something you know that will trigger you in any way, then I would highly recommend you don't watch this video because I will be discussing them things in particular and I don't want anyone to be triggered. But I wanted to just jump on into the video and just kind of kind of tell you a little bit of where I'm at and stuff with my food, my diet and all that type of thing. Honestly, since I moved into the house in December, it's been a bit shit to be honest. I had about two good weeks of really eating well, eating on plan, but since that two weeks, it's not been great. A lot of convenience food, a lot of um, microwave meals, a lot of sweet stuff, a lot of takeaways. Like I'm not going to deny the fact that my diet hasn't been great. I kind of had a bit of a realization moment the other day and I was like right now it's your time to get back on track and I'm a type of person that's either all in or all out I really struggle to find a happy medium with my diet and my lifestyle I either I'm all into something or I'm all out of something it's just the type of person I've always been yeah unfortunately for me when I'm off track and when I'm not eating good I am all out so not do I just have one cheat meal of the week I have a cheat meal every single night I have loads of snacks unhealthy drinks like that's the type of person I am. I'm either all in or all out and unfortunately a lot of the time over the last four months I've been all out. So my health and overall fitness and well-being has just not been great because I haven't been putting into my body great stuff so ultimately that's going to have an effect on us and I'm very aware of that. It's happened multiple times throughout my life and yeah now I'm just kind of getting to grips with things again, understanding where I'm at and actually changing, making little changes and stuff like that. If you followed my weight journey for a while, you'll know that the one thing that I swear by is the Muscle Food Goal Getters plan. It used to be called Do The Unthinkable plan, but they did rebrand and now it's called Muscle Food Goal Getters. Now there's not a lot of plans that I can sit hand on heart and say work for me. I've tried Slim and World. I really just, for me, Slim and World didn't work purely because of the free food aspect. Because when you, when you say food the way I do, having free food is an aspect. So like certain food groups you can eat as much as you want of because it's classed as free food that never worked well for me because I need limitations and it goes back to what I was saying earlier I'm either all in or I'm all out so if I'm all in <laughs> I need limitations I need to be strict and I need kind of cut-offs whereas if I'm all out then that's when I can have free food and eat what I want but unfortunately for me Slim and Will just didn't work I've tried lots of different plans before one thing I really do not like is um, these plans where you have like meal replacements or detox teas I've never been able to get away with them because liquid's just not food to me and I need food I need constant food or else I'm constantly craving food and I need to be satisfied and if I'm none of them things then it's just not going to work so this is why the muscle food go get as is a plan that I continuously go back to back to and I continuously rely on it to help us because it's just genuine food obviously you are given a meal plan so you are given prepped food in little boxes or little bags um, with your snacks so for me it's that mindset of I'm still having food to me food that I absolutely love it's sufficient amount you get three meals a day three snacks a day but it's controlled and that's what I need and that's why I feel like I always go back to this plan is because it's just worked for so many times in the past and it really gets us in the mindset, okay, well this is what you can have, this is your calories, there it is, laid out in front of you, 
Bob's your uncle, off you go. So they are very kindly working with us on this section of the video and throughout the video. But I've worked with them so many times before that at this point it's like a bit of a joke. But I honestly love them. So I am going back on my plan. So if you really don't know what they are, they're a meal prep service where you can kind of put in what your goals are. Do you want to get leaner? Do you want to gain muscle? Do you want to lose weight? Which is obviously my case. And then they'll tailor the food to you. So I do the um, vegan plan, but there's a non-vegan plan as well. And you'll get a variety of foods that you can pick from of what you want. So I do the five days a week plan. Now I do kind of alternate mine slightly because it's just what I prefer and how I feel the flat and how I feel the plan fits best into my lifestyle. So I buy the five day plan, but I always um but what I'll often do sometimes is if I'm having tea with Sean, I'll have a calorie controlled meal that night that isn't part of my plan, and then I'll run my plan over and have like six lunches from the plan, if that makes sense, rather than five full days. Days. that's just sometimes the way it works best in my weekly schedule and how I like to alternate the plan to fit me but I really love the food you have everything from your breakfast bars your cereals your granolas to pasta dishes curry dishes there's so much choice that it just works for me and I, like I said you're probably sick of talking you're probably sick of us talking about it by now but I always go back to it because I just know that I can rely on it and that's why I just feel okay I need to get on the plan, I need to get back to it. So, I'm really excited to kind of continue on with the video. If you'd like to check out the Muscle Food Go Get Us plan for yourself, if you feel like you're having the same struggles as me, or if you're just quite interested in having a meal prep plan, then I'll have the link below for you to go and have a little look and you can check it out and just see if it's for you or not. But yeah, I may have a discount code as well, so if I do, I will leave that in the description for you um, so you can get a bit of money off. Yeah, without further ado, -ta -ta, let's just get into the next few days. These are one of my favourite snacks, but you get loads of different things. So you get crisps, I got the proper chip, I got some Buffs cheese flavour, and then some of my favourite things are the pretzel bites. So these ones are the cracked pepper, and then I also like the rock salt ones. And then I got a Trek nut bar. These are one of my favourites, it's the Millionaire Oat and Crunch. And then just some little chilli bakes. Also amazing, the Bang and Barbecue flavour mountain chips. And then I also got some of the sweet chilli ones. These are great as well. These are the cookies. And then I got some roasted peas. These are actually really nice. So these are the sour cream and chai ones and the sea salt and vinegar. I've had the sea salt and vinegar before, but never these ones. I'm excited to try them. I also got some chocolate and salted caramel ones. Some more bars. So I got the flapjack one and then another nut one by Trek. And then I also got the Serene Banana Loaf. These are so good. And then I got the Naked Blueberry Muffin Bar. I got some of the cereals. So I got the um, Protein Boosted Granola Pot. And then I also got the Chocolate Granola Pot. More bars and crisps. Honestly, you get so much. It's a joke. And then, oh, another one. These are the Paprika and Chili ones. And then moving on to the food. You also get like an envelope as well. Which in it... It's really handy because it gives you a plan, like a list, so you can easily track what you're having and when you're on plan and when you're off plan. And then it also has like fitness things you can do. So you can do like mountain climbers, body weight squats, thrush squats, and then it's like giving you a score of how many you've done. So this is actually really good if you're looking to get into fitness again as well. It's a handy little track that I have. Um, I'm actually going to keep that because I really do need to get back into fitness be really great if i could some of the things i got is the wraps so this is the spicy chili wrap the smoky bean wrap these are so delicious my favorite's the smoky bean one but i like them all i then also got the mighty chickpea curry so they give you all the ingredients yeah and then you just follow the instructions and make the curry is the brit abroad it's like a little breakfast in a pot so you get beans tomatoes like a mock meat um, potatoes and I love these these are like one of my favorite things and then I also like these which are the um, high protein pots and it's basically like Caribbean inspired vegetables and rice I love that but you just get so much stuff because you get three meals a day three snacks a day and for me it's just such a convenient way to stay healthy stay on track and not resort to eating shit food because for me if the easy option isn't there then I'm not gonna have a healthy meal and it's just the way I am I know it's a really bad habit but it's just the way I am so this plan has literally over the last two years saved me so much 
time um but also saved us from falling really really off track to the point where like i've totally gone binge eating and stuff like that because if i've had the plan in i'm more likely to follow it this is what i'm having for me lunch it's the high protein brit abroad brit abroad pot it's literally like beans potatoes tomatoes like a breakfast in a little pot and spinach and it's my favorite one from the go get as menu like i absolutely love it and i could have it for breakfast lunch and dinner to be quite frank but this is what i'm gonna have better okay guys so i'm currently looking at the viewfinder on my camera and it's upside down because this camera is broke that's really annoying us and i hope everything's okay when i'm editing but never mind i've got my lunch i've got my brita board pot and i'm having my snack now because obviously i missed my second snack because i didn't bring one out with us so i've got the indie bay crunchy petrol pre oh, crunchy pretzels in rock salt but while i was having lunch I thought I'd sit down and actually talk to you. So um, I have done Muscle Food Go Get As since probably 2019 on and off. This pot is just beautiful. If you like like beans and tomato, you'll love this pot. It's got spinach, beans, tomato, potato, and then like a mock meat. It's just absolutely amazing. I really like as well because it saves you doing the washing up because you've got the little pots and you can reuse them. They're actually really good to reuse. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, so when I first started doing the plan, I was really strict. I would do five full days on the plan and then I would um, not be on the plan for two days of the week and have like calorie controlled meals. But the more I've kind of done the plan and adapted it to what works for me and my lifestyle, what I tend to like to do is I buy the five day plan and then I do um, breakfast and lunch and then I keep... So basically, because the way the plan works is you do five, six or seven days, you get three meals a day and three snacks a day, which is amazing. But for me, sometimes for the evening meal, it's easier to have what Sean's having and more convenient for me to have what he's having or something similar. So what I find works best for me, I do breakfast and lunch and then have me snacks as well and have like a calorie controlled meal in an evening. So I do technically... I think it works out it's six days breakfast and lunch if that makes sense and it just means that I know breakfast and lunch I'm having good calories good meals even the days when I do stick to the plan fully I feel so fulfilled and my first weight loss transformation was primarily done through um, muscle food goal getters I also have like um, a nutritionist who you can email and have like advice with as well T personally I don't use that service I tend to just stick to eating their food but yeah it's a really motivational company and if you follow their Instagram they do some really motivational posts on there as well but I think why I'm so easily able to stick to this plan is because I generally love the food so it just seems easy to me like it doesn't seem like it's a diet because they're sufficient portions as well like this tub's a decent sized tub just love it so much so it's currently my third day doing the plan this week I think I'm gonna have tomorrow off the plan because I want to have um some porridge and that in the morning and then I'll do it the next day so I get like two days off a week because I do like five days but sometimes six it just depends but just having the pots of food in for me is really convenient even if you don't stick to the plan fully and do like the full five days because sometimes you might feel like that's a bit repetitive or you might get sick of it but I find having the pots in when you want something you eat that's quick convenient easy it's there for you rock salt these are so good I love pretzels and I love 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 indie bay pretzels they're so nice if you've watched my vlog the other day, I got these drawers from Wilkinson's and I've put them in this cupboard and filled it with all my bedding. And I just think for the price of them, 15 quid, it's a good little storage thing. I have my little cleaning tub for upstairs. Them are presents for my cousin India, who I never got to see around the Christmas. And then just some prints and stuff like that that I need to put up around the house. But these drawers, dead handy for 15 quid, I feel. My God, look at the mess of me. Can't deal with this anymore honestly can't i actually cannot wait till salons and nail thing nail things till nail salons and everything reopens because we we are going to get sorted out like i need to sort this out it's a joke can't wait like honestly i'm going to try and get in super early i want my eyebrows done don't know if i'm going to get my lashes done because i'm quite liking putting my own lashes on in the natural look but i might do like um classics which i think are a lot more natural looking instead of what i would usually go for which is russians might try something along them lines or hybrids i've heard they're really like nice as well so I might mix it up with the lashes but i'm gonna get a tan and acrylics i can't wait to have acrylics on the fingertip like i can't deal with it anymore so that being said we're gonna do something temporary today 
and I'm just gonna do me makeup and hair because you know I just thought I would anyway a lot of people have been asking for like an updated makeup so I thought you might want to see that I thought I'll show you that I need to cleanse my face so I'm going to use this which I'm actually nearly at the end of it's instant boost skin tonic by Lizelle not gonna lie I've had this bottle for absolutely years um and I just never really got around to using it all up so nearly at the end of it now which is good filming this I think it's today actually I need to check I think Sean said it was today you're actually allowed to have people in your garden which is a bit of a lockdown rule change um and we actually bought a garden sofa set so hopefully in the next few days we can have a few people in the garden and the weather's meant to be really nice tomorrow so hopefully that could be a plan i've been using this the pixie vitamin c priming oil oh if you like glowy skin this is going to be your best mate it makes you look so glowy i usually just put it on my fingers because i find it harder to put it straight on my face so going with the pixie glow mist the pixie glow range is one of my favorites if you like glowy you like this range Whew. okay so for my foundation i cannot use matte foundations anymore because because of my dry skin they just look really cakey and not good so i don't use them anymore but i'm gonna use i don't know which so i'm gonna go in with this one this is just like my cheap everyday one it's the collection last and perfection weightless foundation I don't believe it's matte it doesn't say anywhere that it's a matte finish and it doesn't feel matte when I put it on my skin and then I always mix it with my pixie by Petra flawless beauty primer because this gives you like such a natural glow it's like the best thing put the primer all over my face and little dots it's like honestly I've been through so many bottles of this primer if you like glowy looking I know some people really don't like glowy looking skin because they feel like it looks sweaty <laughs> But I think if you do glowy looking right, it could look really nice. I don't always get it right, to be honest, because sometimes it looks too glowy. And then I'm going to go in with my foundation a little bit. This is so affordable. I'm using the shade Cool Beige 4. We got this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. When there's a problem, you become like a wall. My skin isn't doing too great at the minute, but I just feel this foundation gives you like a smooth look and base. Healer on. I've been using this concealer recently. It's the Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal. It's actually quite good. It comes with like a thick end though, which sometimes if you're trying to get it in a small place is a little annoying. But I tend to just rub it wherever there's a bit of a problem. Oh my god, my forehead is so bad at the minute. It's got like loads of red patches on it. I wonder what all the shops that have had to close have had to do with their stock. Like, do you reckon they'll like open and sell that stock? Like, will it still be like relevant to sell? But then I feel like because they had to close, they'll have a lot of Christmas stock. I did the clothes just after Christmas. I think it was just after Christmas, wasn't it? So I'm not actually sure what they'll do. Anyway, that's the base done. Pretty simple. Like to keep it like that. Then what I do is I go in with a spritz of this when I've put the like first layer of my base on. It's a Revolution CBD Nourishing Essence Spray. Ah, oh, it's so good. I know to eat it in the process. Okay. And then I'm just going to add some bronzer on us. So I always go in with the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I just think it's a nice skin tone for me. Skin tone. I just feel like it's a nice tone. Like, look at that. It's such a pretty colour. Me and Sean really want to um, hire a motorhome in the summer and go to, like, the lakes with the pups. Oh, my God. I would be so excited for that. Like, go up to the lakes with the pups and have a holiday and make the most out of it i just think it would be so cozy to do something like that and honestly like i definitely don't think this year we're going to be getting away because um i just don't think it's likely so i feel like that's like a really 
like exciting thing to look forward to and i'd be very excited for that and then also i'm gonna have a party for my birthday hopefully i don't want to jinx things but if obviously all of the rules plan out the way they're meant to we're meant to be out of full lockdown by my birthday like just before my birthday so i thought it'd be a really good idea to have like a big party and invite everyone to it I'm going in with my pixie and heart defensen heart defensen palette this one and i just take this color here which is called always dancing and i just run it through my crease to stop us getting that crease line And then I'm going to go in with my Pixie by Petra highlight and this is in the creamy gold. I've realised I use a lot of Pixie in my skin routine and that's not even like, like I didn't do that on purpose. I just really like their products because I feel like they're quite natural products and they're just really nice looking. So once I've done that, go on to my eyes and eyebrows. Now I don't do anything with my eyebrows anymore apart from rub the benefit gimme brow gel through them but i like stick the hairs up so that's how i have to keep on top of trimming the hairs just to make sure they're the right length that i want them and i just feel that just like looks much better than what i used to do under this this room is on the to-do list to get done by the end of the year but we kind of had to push it back a bit because we're focusing on the garden for the summer so yeah not ideal because i would have really liked to have it done but it is what it is okay so next off i'm gonna stick the eyelashes on these eyelashes are again from bonnie dolly cosmetics they're so pretty and i feel like they suit my face like really well okay while my eyelash glue is like getting tacky i'm gonna put some balm on this is the nars clean cut after glow lip balm it's clear but it just like moist my lips i really like it And then I'm going to go in with this lip liner, which is Peaches and Cream Lip Liner. Oh no, it's by the brand Peaches and Cream and it's the Proline Lip Liner. And then it looks like this, which I like and it looks quite moist because obviously I've put the balm on beforehand. And then I go in with the gloss. This is the Bonnie Dolly Cosmetics Gloss in shade Dulce. I really like this. I think it's like such a pretty gloss. Okay, and then by this time, my lashes are usually ready. I'm going to put the other one on. And then we'll faff on with them in a minute. So, Sean watched, like, a while ago. I think it was in the first lockdown. He watched Money Heist. And I never watched it. Because I was like, I'm not into that. But now I've started watching it and actually really like it. Oh, just nearly poked myself in the eye again. So, I'm going to get me mascara. And put this on. Because sometimes when I'm using this, it, like, brushes them out. And makes them look more even. This is why I really do want to get my classics on, I think. Because as much as I do like the natural look with eyelashes even though these ones are not very natural i really struggle to get them on then i go back in with this spray just because it's like a really good spray and i feel like it really sets everything in place i'm gonna do my hair we've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me but when there's complications you withdraw and leave me to be when there's a problem you become like a trip it's a free fall why don't you help me the way i help you you don't have to save me just be my parachute when i'm feeling down you're just not there making sure i'm okay why don't you help me the way i help you this is what my little finished looks i'm gonna turn these off and show you in the natural light and then you'll get a good look just gonna brush down all my hair that fell out just trying to get the camera to focus in the natural light so you can actually see what it looks like. So as you can see, see, like I just think it's a super nice natural look. And for me, it's like almost an everyday look, minus the eyelashes. Sometimes I put them on, sometimes I don't. But yeah, it's just super quick for us to do now. I feel like I've got a down to tea, but I just feel it really compliments my face and just makes us feel a bit more put together on the days where I want to actually wear a bit of makeup. But I just thought I would do a little get ready with my little hair and makeup. Obviously, the hair's not that exciting. I literally straighten my hair, but I'm just not a hair type of person sometimes i'll curl it but that's like 
special occasion um or sometimes i put my extensions in but other than that hair's just not my vibe but this is what my makeup looks like okay guys so this is going to be the end of this vlog it was just kind of a general vlog talked a lot about food and showed you what i do when i'm on my muscle food plan as well i do want to quickly mention that muscle food also have workouts which you can follow while you're doing the plan i tend not to um because yeah i don't really work out a lot to be honest and i like to when i work out I have to be really in the mindset of fitness and goals and at the minute I'm kind of just getting into the mindset so for me it's like I'm really focusing on what I'm eating and then further down the line once I've got that under control I'll then focus on okay I maybe should implement a little bit of exercise um so yeah I don't follow the fitness plan but it is something that's available through the Go Get Us plan if you need that extra help with um, workouts or anything like that then that is a service that they offer as well which is really exciting to have it as part of the plan because I know a lot of people when they're eating good they're also exercising as well but but I'm not that I'm not there yet um, mentally so I need to just get the food sorted in my head and then we'll move on to actually trying to do a bit of exercise as well but I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did and if you would like us to continue to do food fitness videos, health updates, all that type of thing, then let us know by giving this video a thumbs up and I'll see you very shortly for another one. Bye! If you made it to this part of the video, comment egg below because it's nearly Easter and I'm always really interested in how much people get to the end of the video. Oh my god, these lashes are so pretty!